Hey everybody. Okay, so what we're doing now is we are gonna give you a tour around the campgrounds. We like to include it as a bonus video. We know everybody doesn't wanna see all the sites and everything um, at a campground, but if you're staying here and you wanna know what your site looks like, make sure you check out the bonus footage and we are gonna pass by all the sites out here and that way hopefully you can see your site um, and decide if you like it or just give you a little something to look forward to. All right. All right, so all campsites are actually to the right of the gatehouse, so we'll start with that. So in front of you, you will see that we have some overflow parking. So there's plenty of parking out here. I've never seen it full. And this is kind of weird, because we actually have two spaces up here. Up here on the right, you're gonna see 59, and over here on the left, you see 60. And those are just kind of some outlier spaces. Those are the first ones that are like right here. Now you see your dump station over here on the left, and we'll come back to that. Over here on your right, you're gonna see there's some bathrooms, um, some more places to park, as well as the dumpsters. with sites 1 through 14. Now I will say that this is one of the tightest campgrounds I've been in in terms of sites. Some of the sites just look like they were paths off the side of the road. They don't even look like sites. I didn't realize they were. The only thing that gives it away are the hookups and uh, uh, the fact they have a picnic bench. All right, we've got some parking right here. And so, stop for a second here, Corey. This is actually site one, right in front of you. So, if you are site one, that's where you are. <laughs> all right. Bare so, naked in front of everybody. Just all out here in the, <laughs> <laughs> anywhere. So, we're going to turn here and go uh, to the left to site two and so on. There's some overflow parking right here. Which you're gonna need because these sites are so small. So you got site one and then over here on the right. Is that site two? Yes. Wow. And so it looks like site three and four are probably considered a double site. Five. Nice airstream. Six is up here on the right. Put seven on the left. And eight. And ten right there in front of us where the Winnebago is. Now over here, I don't know how well you can see it, you're going to have sight, but I imagine it must be 11, but I actually don't see the sign. Ooh. Guys, this place is like site tight. 11 Sorry, is site 11 is right here where the Montana is. You can see how tight these sites are. 12, 13, where this Jeep is, some overflow parking. And then site 14 right here on the corner. And the site 14 isn't bad in terms of privacy, if that's something you're interested in. It looks like all of those sites 1 through 14 are really crammed in there in what looks like a small cul-de-sac. Well, I think this whole campground is full of stuff that's crammed in there. Yeah. 
All right, so we are getting ready to go check out sites. Looks like it's going to be 15 through 28. Um, this will be interesting because we know how this is kind of set up. It's funky, but we will try to keep going in order as best we can. Up here directly in front of us is the beach access or the lake access with the beachfront. Um, very nice. I've never seen it crowded. There is actually handicap parking and a handicap ramp to help you actually get out into the lake. So that is really nice. I think it used to have a boat ramp as you can see the gate here, but it is all beach now. As always, no lifeguard, swim at your own risk, but it's a nice little area out here for you to go and get in the lake. And again, over here to the left, you will see there's a ramp for wheelchair access directly into the water. All right, and like I said, we're gonna to try to do these in order the best that we can. So some you may see that we don't talk about, we will get back to those spaces. Stop here for a minute, Corey. Now y'all see we're on a road and if you go straight, that's the road, right? I want you to know that there's a space to the right and to the left of this street. So those two little pieces of concrete you see or asphalt, just know that those are spaces. And as we pass them, we'll tell you what numbers they are. Over on the left is site 15. And over here on the right is site 28. Which we'll come back to. Which we'll come back to. So we're gonna go over here to the left. This is 16 directly to your left that has a shared picnic table uh, with, with uh, 15. And then you also have 17 up here on the, in the middle on the left. You have 18 up there in the corner. You have nine in the corner left. You have 19 in the corner right. And then you have 20 over here on the right hand side. So we'll just drive up and turn around here Again, there's a little bit of overflow parking, um, but these sites, guys, they, they're tight. Um, however, Site 19 offers a good bit of privacy if that's what you're looking for. But just know that these sites right here, 15 um, through I think 21, are not, like, are not lakefront. So if you're looking for lakefront, these are not the sites that you want to book. Yes. They're lake adjacent though, so they're not far, but they're just not lakefront. As you come back from 20, there's site 21 on the left that I mentioned earlier. All right, so we have our first space up here. Again, it doesn't even look like a space because it's just so small. But up here on the right, you've got site 27. 27. And you got 26. And then you have 26. So we're going the wrong way, but we have to because that's what the sign said. And then right in front of you, this is actually our site. And this is site 24 and 25. So this is what they call a double site. So you will pay um, more money for the site here to have more space. And I say to have more space jokingly because you really don't have more space, not usable. Now, if you had a tent and you wanted to put it up over there on the little uh, rocky side, that would be fine. But honestly, this is not enough area for two trailers to park side by side and, and have their awnings out and not be in the grass or something. So it may be a little bit bigger, but I think you're paying more for the lakefront view than anything. So it does have a good lake view and you can walk down to it 
Um, but just know that because it's a double site, they will charge you more. But don't think it means you can park two RVs here because I wouldn't suggest that. That's really tight for two RVs. Then you come around to site 23, which is right here. Nice space for size 23. And there's some overflow for parking for 23 as well. You know, that's site 22. out here to your left you'll see site 28 again um, this is a site that looks like it's out in the middle of the street and then right here on the left is site 29 so well, that looks like a pretty a decent site it, yeah. it looks like it has I'll turn it so you can see a little it bit looks better like it has you know um, good space and some privacy it's not bad that's site 29 Overflow parking right here on your left. And then these are site 30 through 36. You're going to start over here on the left hand side. We have site 30. We have site 31 coming up right here where this driveway is and then also site 32 where you see that little camper back there in the corner on the left and then you got site 33 right in front of us i just want to say site 32 has a fantastic lake view absolutely then we got site 34 coming up here that's a nice site Very nice. you can see the lake Nice sight. It's tight, but it's nice. 35 right here. Let's curve the bullet. Oh, it's an Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, as we come out, you see sight 36 over here. On the left? Ah, uh, no. And there's a better view of sight 30 on the right. Sight 36 looks sad. It's in the middle of the road, just like Site 15 and 28 back there. You know, I guess if you have a boat or you came out here really experienced the lake, it doesn't really matter. I agree. One of them little pop-up tents or something. Yeah. Hey, and if you're at 36, you can easily walk over here and go, go to the beach. All right, so now we are going over here to sites 37 through 58. So over here on the left hand side, it's interesting because you got a couple sites here and some overflow parking. You got site 37 and 38. So up here on the right, we've got site 57. And on the left, we have site 39. You see this fifth wheel. So we tried to do these in order, but here they're not in order, so we can't do it like that. So just bear with this. Site 40 over here on the left. Site 40 
41. 41 is neat. It has a step down um, like patio deck. 42 area. right beside it. And then also 43, pretty close together. 43 looks like it's pat it's putting the bot, you know, it's pushed back a little bit. More privacy on 43. I was gonna say I feel like this whole side has more privacy in it. So look at this amazing view of the water. This is so great. So we've got a couple sites coming up here and I'm gonna actually ask Corey to drive down here over here on the right because I don't really think you're gonna be able to see these sites unless you go down. So this is site 54. Can you drive and 53. down And 53. So you got sites 53 right here in front. Yep. And, and this then is 54. this is 54. Very nice. I think these are nice wooded sites. 53 has obviously got a better lake view, uh, but they're deep. So if you have your RV and you have some cars, there's plenty of room for them. All right, so up here we've got site 52 and 51. I'm gonna just say right now, I'm liking site 51. We've never stayed at it, but I mean, I like the way it looks. And then you got 52 over here. 52's view is amazing too. Um, both of these have a good area for your RV as well as some space, particularly 52 for additional cars. Here on the left, you'll see site 45, which has a great view of the lake. There's and some overflow parking. You've got site 46, 47, and 48 all together right in front of us. And again, these have amazing lake views. They really, really do. They're not big, but they do have some, some great lake views. All right, so directly in front of us, we have Site 49. I noticed they have those little, uh, I guess, uh, balcony railings built up. So I'm wondering if there's a little cliff there. So that may be something to think about. But again, great lake view. And then over here to your right, you're gonna see Site 50, um, which I imagine you can see the lake from as well, but it'll be through the trees. Not sure if you can walk down to it or not. I'm gonna back up and maneuver around so that you can see site 44 a little bit better. 
down. I'm going the wrong way down the wrong side of the road, but I want you to see Site 44. This right here is Site 44. And again, it has a nice long driveway, but I will tell you it's at an angle and may be hard to back up into. Um, but there is extra room for your RV as well as a couple of cars if you need them. I don't know that you can walk down to the lake, but you can view it through the tree. So on the left hand side, going back out, we have site. <laughs> Sorry, we can't see the number. We have site 55. 55. And then coming up on the left after that is gonna be site 56. Ooh, that looks like a woody site. Look at that. And then we have site 57 on the left. And then we have the handicap spot, site 58. then over on the left hand side you're also going to see the overflow parking the park whenever you want to get ready to go on trails I think that that's actually a bathhouse right there yep see there's the bathhouse or I should say bathrooms Right, so we just passed uh, where you put all your trash. So those are the trash um, dumpsters. And now we are gonna go to everybody's favorite spot, the dump station. And so there is only one. So either come early or come with all your patience. Um, if you'll pull up a little bit, Corey. So this dump site is neat because it has water, it has a dump site, but it also has instructions. So if you're new here, it, it gives you some instructions on about how to connect and things like that. Um, also, you'll see up here on the left hand side an additional faucet for water that is actually for drinking water. So if you want drinking water, there is actually a place for you to get it. Please don't get it at the dump station. That's for rinsing, but there is actually drinking water up here on the left hand side. Now we're just gonna go back out towards the front and show you the boat ramp area. So 
going back up towards the front, you're going to see that there are two camp posts actually uh, on each side of the entrance into the campgrounds. Down this path right here is the uh, boat ramp. So you see they got some parking for your trailers, for your boat trailers. This is also for day use, so you'll see a pay here. Even though right now they have everybody going through the main gatehouse, but if they were open, you could just drive right in here and go boating. Tons of spaces. It looks like there are sign spaces, maybe? I don't know. No. Some, yeah, some say car and some are for trailer. So the long ones you'll see are for trailer. So you don't want to park your trailer in the middle, for ah, example. Ah, okay. their car spots and trailer spots. It's also good to know that this campground, as far as I know, does not have a fishing pier. I haven't been able to see one at all, but I would suggest that maybe if you come close to the lake, maybe you can just throw your line in there and go fishing. But there's no designated fishing pier. See some boats in there? So that truck over there on the right hand side, that's a no no. Park in designated spaces, not mm -hmm. up on the grass. Kind of interesting. We have all these spaces. Why he yeah, would park like, like that? you could have parked in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. I guess that's the end of our tour. Hit that like button if you enjoyed that video. Click the subscribe button and notification bell to see when we post new videos. Thanks for watching.